Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Today we're going to talk about basics of integration. Um, so we talked in the last few series about, um, you know, in, in integration platforms and and the function that integration uh, performs um, to, to, to some extent. This is going to be a little bit more, um, still a high level overview of what do we mean when we talk about data integration and, and what does that what does that entail? So this is going to be a very, very basic um, um, presentation. If you are more seasoned data professional or um, have, have been in the industry, you know, you're um, probably not going to get as much value out of this. So kind of give that a um, uh, heads up on, on this one. But if you're new to the data, you know, um, integration domain, and you're learning about uh, data integration and and how kind of the, the basics of how data integration works. This is going to be some some key concepts and um, words you'll kind of hear throughout um, the subsequent videos when we kind of delve deeper into how to um, you know perform data integration. So with that, um, once again, a few basics about me: Ali Rizwan, um, background in data and analytics. Of building data and integration solutions and uh, um, someone who's kind of uh, focused in the healthcare domain, um, healthcare and data domain. That's uh, kind of primarily my background, as well as projects I've done in the government and financial industries. Uh, the services my company offers are around data analytics, integration services, and, and staff augmentation with, with those types of roles. Um, with that, so we're going to talk about a few few concepts that uh, if you're new to the industry, data industry, uh, you will hear and, and what they mean. So firstly, we're talking about data transformation. Then we're going to talk about data aggregation and enrichment and, and what that means and, and a few scenarios you can, you can think of from like a layman's perspective. And then we're going to talk about hybrid integration and connectors and, and um, kind of the precursor to when you're starting to do integration, right? Like, uh, uh, what does the landscape look like, uh, you know, when you go into an environment and you're trying to, uh, you know, establish connections to different different sources and, and perform the integration. So um, the data transformation, like, well, why do we do data transformation when we're bringing in data from different sources? Uh, most companies, most use cases or problems you're trying to solve, you're going to be involved with getting data from, you know, multiple types of sources. It's going to be multiple file file types. Um, and uh, typically in, in a given project, you'll encounter, you know, multiple data sources. So when we talk about data transformation as uh, an integrator, as a data integrator, your tasks with trying to kind of combine all that data from different places and try to transform it into a target system, right? That's kind of um, like most of the the kind of data projects, to be quite honest, like where most of the effort and and uh, um, resources and, and kind of budget and planning is involved in is in doing that transformation. Right. Part of it is governance where you talk about, hey, what does this data mean? What does that data mean? Agreeing on kind of uh, standards and, and formats of what fields mean. And part of it is actually doing the work and of, of being able to combine the multiple different file types. Right. So uh, as an example, you know, um, you know, you may have a system like SAP that kind of accepts data in like an IDOC format. You may have data. You know, either your source is Oracle, you know, you're pulling data from, from an Oracle system or your target is Oracle, where you have to kind of uh, transform the data from whatever your source system is and dump it into Oracle as your as your target system or it's going to a file system. In each of those three cases, there's different set of transformations you have to do from whatever your source system is. Assuming, assuming let's say it's a target system, right? Like SAP is a target, Oracle is a target, or, or you're tar writing to a file system uh, as an example. You're, you're going to get data from your different sources and you're going to have to then do some modifications and transformations to get it in that format, right? Um, so when we say when we say data transformation, this is where 
most of the 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 work and effort is being expended. Uh, in some cases, you have uh, uh, companies that you know when you uh, they're gonna send data to not one target system, but you know when they're gonna send data to a target system, they they want that in a more standardized format, um, and then from there they're gonna send it to multiple different systems. They there is something called a canonical data format that uh, sometimes you have to write to. So it's not maybe specific to a sub, uh, specific vendor, like an SAP or an Oracle, but you write it to a kind of a standardized format known as like canonical data format. And then you write it to that. And then from there, it goes to the different vendors, right? So um, that's kind of the, as we go into the kind of future uh, talks, that's, you know, you refer back to data transformation multiple file types, combining them and sending them forward, right? So next thing, which is kind of a subsegment of data transformation a little bit, you could you could say, uh, is the aggregation and enrichment, right? Uh, so when you have data from different sources, like let's say you have a, a source A that has your customer data and then a source B that, uh, you know, has your, you know, ordering data, right? Your customer data might live in a, a customer kind of master data management system. And then you have to link that back to your ordering data. And even the ordering data might live in, uh, live in different systems. Uh, but then you have to combine it. And maybe you want to aggregate data from the orders up to the customer level, right? So one customer can have many orders, right? So they may, they may have, you know, um, multiple number of orders, but you want to bring all those orders up to one customer, like maybe like a dozen orders up to one customer level and aggregate that information about either the sales or uh, you know other, other high level information you might want to aggregate. So that kind of scenario is kind of what we mean by aggregate, right? Uh, it's a simplified example, but there's, there's other things as well. You could do either, it can be a summing of, uh, as I said, like a dollar amounts, or it could be what's the most recent order that they had, right? So you have to go through all the data that's there and you might have to aggregate all the data in the sense that, okay, read all the files, read all the data that's there, but give me the most recent order. Let me get the first time, you know, they place an order and they became a customer. So that would classify more as a, a an aggregation, a kind of joining data from multiple sources and then, you know, doing an aggregation on it. When we talk about enrichment, that's more like, um, you know, like I said, it's 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 a it, they kind of go hand in hand, but it's more uh, assumed that the grain is the same, right? Like you've got let's say product codes, um, uh, you know, and um, uh, product categories, right? So you may have a product code, right? That the lists of products that are involved, but the business might want to group those products a certain way, right? Or group them a number of different ways. So you get into the the concept of, uh, you know, um, but when we talk about enrichment, what I really mean by that is, hey, and, you know, you, you're you kind of adding a layer of definition on top of the data that you already have, right? So, whereas with customers, it's more like, okay, you're adding um, kind of it attributes about the orders that they place. This is slightly different where it's, okay, it's, it's products and you're adding some, kind of descriptive information about that product or that product code that, hey, what's the, uh, you know, categories associated with it. In both cases, you're kind of getting data from one place, combining with another, and then, you know, doing some aggregations on it. So, uh, you know, these, these terms will, will come up different different ways as we, as we go through kind of future examples. So lastly, you know, hybrid integration and connectors, right? Uh, as we're doing these, the, the next few labs, we're going to be talking about integration and connectors because you know some data sources that you might be connected to might be on-prem and some might live in the cloud. For either of those cases, you have to combine data from you know SaaS connectors, traditional connectors, which we'll kind of get more detail uh, into uh, and uh, you know share more details around that. So with that, we'll kind of follow the day here and uh, thank you.